This tutorial will show you how to quickly and easily set up call forwarding so when someone calls into your main number, hits your auto attendant and selects an option to speak with you that your phone or phones will ring. Get started at freedomvoice.com or freedomiq.com and click the login button in the top right hand corner. This will take you to weblink. You'll get an initial login screen that asks for username, phone number, and password, or in some cases, in some systems, just phone number and password. Once you are logged in to the Weblink online control panel, mouse over the settings tab, and under delivery, choose call forwarding. Once you select call forwarding, make sure to choose the appropriate extension that you want to set up for call forwarding. In this case, we will go ahead and choose a personal extension, in this case 801. Currently, there are no call forwarding entries under the call forward list. To get started, we will click the Add New Entry button. We can choose between three call forward types, number, user, or group. If we want to do a simple cascade that starts at the top number and then works its way down until it ends the list and then goes to voicemail, we can use number or user. If we have to do some special calling like simultaneous ring or a round robin rotation, we would need to choose a group that we would actually have to define first before choosing group. In this case, what we will do is we will just keep it simple and we will choose phone number. This can be a toll free number or any local number, including the DID of your Freedom IQ phone, or your cell phone, your home phone, etc. We will go ahead and put a phone in here. We typically won't use the add extension field. That's only if we, were, we are calling another phone system that requires us to enter an extension. So that's rarely used. Put in a description, so I can say this is a cell phone. Choose our time zone, and click save. That's all it takes to set up a simple call forward. Now if someone calls into my main number, hits my auto attendant, and dials extension 801, it will look at this call forward entry and ring this phone. I can add times to this if I want to, days of the week, increase the number of rings, and now those changes will be reflected on my call forward entry. If I want another phone number to ring after this one, if I don't answer here, I can simply add a new entry. And user is only for Freedom IQ users that have a Polycom phone on their desk that they can log into. So it does require lo physically logging in to a Polycom phone. If you don't have a Polycom phone or don't want to log in, then you should choose number and always type in a phone number. We'll choose office phone in this case, save that, and now if I don't answer on my first phone number, it will roll to my second phone number and then eventually to voicemail. If I want the calls to remain in a queue for a certain period of time, I can enable call queuing, which I would turn on, and now I can set a maximum hold time for the callers before they go to voicemail. So in this case, it would cycle between both of these phone numbers for up to five minutes or until someone answers and then eventually it would go to voicemail. That concludes the call forward setup. It's very quick and easy. There are a lot of options that you can associate with call forwarding such as a call announcement so it requires a key press to accept the call. Um, that also um, in, ensures that your caller doesn't hear your cell phone voicemail, things like that. So there are some options available which you would find under settings and call announce. We won't get into these options here. We're just going to cover the call forwarding, which is now complete and active. And anytime you make a change, it the change takes effect immediately. Thanks for watching.